Welcome back to the most musty TV on the internet. Yeah, that's, that's a good sentence. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, let's see. Like, so like you were talking about like the first game you played that made you feel like, oh, I have complete and utter control. Yeah. Like, I can do what the fuck I want to do. Mm -hmm. Minecraft didn't give me that feeling. Mm -hmm. Minecraft to me m felt more like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this part's a pain in the ass. Um, Minecraft to me felt like a, a, it felt more Indiana Jonesy than anything else did, because Minecraft, in my personal opinion, really feels like there's so much at risk. Like Minecraft is like, okay, yeah, right, right, right. I could have saved that fucking chest. Like it always felt like there was something that was like a major like okay do this to get this and if you don't I think I have to go my guy Kratos oh okay that's on me I'll take that back I'll take my Kratos back Um, but like the first, the first game that, uh, the first game, the first game that made me go, okay, so this is what like turn-based RPGs can be like, and they don't have to suck. Cause I don't like turn-based RPGs. I just don't. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're bad. I just don't like them. Was probably, the first turn-based RPG game I ever played was Pokemon Coliseum. Ever was Pokemon Coliseum. The second one I ever played, and I liked it, was uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. That was the, that was straight up the second RPG I'd ever played. And since then, the only turn-based RPGs I've ever played are Pokemon X and Project Cross Zone. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I mildly, I enjoyed the first Project Cross Zone, but like I'm giving up on the second one because it as a 3ds game there isn't a lot of uh, voice acting there is some but not enough in my opinion and uh it just if i'm being honest like it's a lot of words. most are yes like most are and it's not just that there's a lot of work like a lot of reading it's the fact that it's a lot of reading and there's like a lot of reading you know what i mean mm -hmm. like they talk a lot about nothing and like just... yeah about things that aren't like relative to the plot and it like kind of drives me nuts because it's like I, I i just don't want more of this <laughs> like i want this to be over uh I, the first action rpg i ever played like what would you define like i don't know how you how you would describe an action rpg because it, it wasn't kingdom hearts I mean, that is a played... to do. Like, anything that, like, yeah, has an upgrade system, I guess, like, stats and stuff, but you, like, constantly move, there's no, like... I can't. I can't. I, can't I mean, I guess just if it's, if it's not a turn-based RPG. I mean, uh, Fable is an action RPG. Never played. I, I mean, I'm just saying that is, that is an example. Uh... I think Mass Effect and shit like that is technically action RPGs. Cause yeah, I'm I'm I, cause I'm thinking. Um, shoot. I'm trying to think of anything you have played that is like that. Cause I don't know if you yeah. have. Cause I'm thinking. Cause like I played um, what's the name of that damn game on PS? The the the, the, the Kingdom Hearts on PS. Uh, Breath of Sleep. I played Birth by Sleep. Um, I played th shit. I played shit. Uh, um, I've played uh, three all to completion, for the most part. Wait, hold on. Sure, the thing. You can still hear them walking up there. I really don't know. Yeah, uh, it like it, it might have been the because I didn't finish Birth by Sleep. I tried, but it was difficult because the camera angles in Birth by Sleep are atrocious. Like for the PSP, 
Like, just the way you do anything is ass on top of ass. It's an ass sandwich with ass juice as a, you know, it's as a condiment. Juice. It's fucking gross. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's not bad. Like, the gameplay itself is Kingdom Hearts. And, like, if you like Kingdom Hearts, you'll probably like that. But the, uh, the gameplay, in my opinion, was bad because of the camera angles. Like, I didn't, I didn't care for them. I don't think anybody did. If you did, you're probably crazy. And, you know, there's nothing anybody can do about that but you. Nobody can do anything about that but you. Um, mm -hmm. Action art. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever played one, like, seriously. Dark Siders is technically that. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm almost positive. Fuck! I don't know why I keep hitting cross. Like, I keep hitting the... The reason that's happening is because I'm hitting the jump button. And, like, when I do that, he lets go. And that's, you know, no bueno. God damn, though. I say god damn! Which is probably my new favorite line from Pulp Fiction. Uh, well, with that being said, like, I guess, like, the first action adventure game, first, God of War is probably my first action slash. Like, by all means, like, I think God of War was the first, uh, adventure game I played that was just, like, mash buttons until you orgasm. Like, was, was this fucking game. Then I found out that's, you know, apparently my favorite shit. Like, first fighting game I ever played that I was good at was Smash Bros. Like, I was never good at Street Fighter. I was never... And the thing about not being good at Street Fighter is this. If you played any fighting game in the 90s on Super Nintendo, or hell, you know, up until Smash Bros. came out, if you wasn't good at that, you were bad at all fighting games. That's how it works. I mean, more or less. Because almost... What the fuck is going on here? Okay, I don't want to go that way. Okay, I do want to... Uh, Something is behind the door, but it seems to be reinforced enough for another way to break it down. Yeah, this is on the other side of that, that thing. Yeah. Uh, shit. I'm trying to think. Um, hold on. Just give me a second. Action adventure, like beat 'em up, probably Spider Man 2 was the first one of those, like in general. Um. Actually, no, I take that back. Smash was not the first. Ah, yep, never mind. I was about to say, Smash wasn't the first one. Like, yeah, the, like, when it came to games that weren't Smash Bros. as far as, like, me being good at them, I got kind of good at Soul Calibur 2. Like, I wasn't competition level good, but I was good amongst my friends. I was fairly good at Dragon Ball Z Budokai, which I just bought again. So look for that on, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm going to do, or the specific, more specifically, how I'm going to handle that. Because there is a, um, there is indeed a, uh, a versus, uh, a, fuck. Hold on, I'm, I'm getting hit by things that you want to hit, yeah. Not be all, yeah, not be alive. But there is a story mode to that game that, but the problem is, it takes you more or less through the, to the sail saga. Like, I think it only takes you to the sail saga. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's where it, like, leads you, leads you off. And if you're wondering where there, why there's any kind of like conflict there, well, that's because I'm playing a game that's basically doing it already. Oh God! And like, I just feel like you know, playing it's it's basically Kakarot, but instead of like it being an RPG, it's just a fighting game. Like you are as good as you are while playing it, and I feel like like yeah, that um, yeah, so. Like, that was a game I was really good and I really enjoyed. Uh, nah, I guess Kingdom Hearts was indeed the first... Uh, I don't need, I still don't need this. Was the first uh, action RPG I ever really got into. I guess. I, yeah, I, I, I guess I gotta say so. Because I didn't play Castlevania. I know a lot of people, you know, are surprised by that. The first... The first Castlevania I, game I played from start to finish, which happened like a few weeks ago, was Aria of Sorrow. That was the first Castlevania game I ever played. And, well, that wasn't the first one I played. First one I finished. Because I have Symphony of the Night, 
I am currently trying to play through Symphony of the Night, for, Symphony of the Night on the PS Vita. But it it's not Aria of Sorrow. <laughs> it requires much more from me than Aria of Sorrow did, and I don't have save states. That's fine. Boy, David Jaffe really. I, I wonder if he like. I wonder if he looked at it like you know. Well, they did have their titties out all the time in uh in these old games and in, in, you know in the Grecian days. I mean, they did. They had those penises and those titties just out. Yeah. And but, but I will say fair, there's a lot less penis in that game. <laughs> I feel like if he could get the opportunity to make another game like this, like he would have more nude men. Without question. Yeah. Ooh, we. I am really, I'm really trying to think of what was like, what was like, yeah, you equip this, and like, if you equip that, and like, you go into a room, and there's like enemies who do this, like, it'll be fine, like, they can't hurt you. Like, yeah, I can't, I can't think of one. I mean, I've had, I had, I and that's, you know. I will say my, I think my first turn based RPG was. Probably Mario RPG. I think I played that. One, I played that once as a kid, and did not know what the fuck I was playing. All right, let me be honest with you. I don't know where I'm going. Like, okay, so when I say when I, with during this playthrough, when I say the words, I don't know where I'm going. What it means is. I don't know which way it advances the plot, and usually that's what I don't want to do. Because there's something down there, and there's something over there. Clearly, I want to go to the, to the right. It's weird. Uh, like the first like open world, the first open world game I ever played was a uh, GTA, San Andreas specifically. Um. Hello. Spartan. Like at this point, we're supposed to be asking, like, what happened? What happened to Kratos? Why he mad at the big red hair man? What did he do? What did he did? Yeah, I have no idea which way he went the plot. I'm going this way, no matter what. I'm pretty sure the other way is the way that he went the plot, and this is. I don't. I think this is the way we come later. Yeah. There's a massive door emblazoned with the symbol of the woman of the town's oracle. The door is shut tight. You cannot be open from here. All right. Ugh. Well. Mm-hmm. But you know, with with like I said, like the first console I had was like the Super Nintendo. So like, I can say like the first sports game I ever played, the first basketball game I ever played was NBA Jam. Actually, that's probably a lie. I think the first basketball game I ever played was Arch Rivals, and then Double Dribble. And let's just say those aren't good. So the first like legit basketball game I played that was like, in my opinion, fun and I was able to get good at was NBA Jam. The first fighting game I ever played was Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2 Turbo Edition for the Super Nintendo. Like, uh, I remember playing Super Mario World as a kid. I sucked at it. I was super trash at Donkey Kong Country. Like, extra trash at that. Um, and I do find it funny, like, even to this day, like, a lot of people say, well, those games are for children. Fucking play A Link Through Time and, like, breeze through it having never played it before. I fucking dare you. I don't just dare you. I fucking defy you. That's stuff, like, that stuff, if you're in, like, the fourth grade and you're playing through those games, you are the most stumped motherfucker on the planet. Like, that shit wasn't easy. By any stretch of the imagination, where, like, was, like, what you were supposed to do in that game considered easy. Like, you might know what to do now because it's been, like, 40 fucking years and you've learned how to play it. But that shit's hard. We just went through Super Mario World. We're both adult men who have played that game before. And it would have taken us more than 20 episodes had we played it without save safe. Yeah. That game is fucking hard as shit. 
Like, just simply put, it's hard as fuck. It's a hard goddamn game, and you can't, you just cannot tell me, oh, it's not that hard. Wait a minute. Yep. I'm not mistaken, I think this will like. You might be wondering how I know to do this. And if I'm not mistaken, I remember like, uh, uh, I think when I, I let Jay play this, like he, yep, that's what I thought. He came across, fuck! Mm -hmm. He came, he came across several puzzles and he was like, how, how did you know to do this? And I'm gonna tell you, like, I don't remember how, like, I figured out what I was supposed to do here. I don't know. And again, it's been a while. You saw the save data. Shit. Like, you saw it. You know how long it's been since I've played this. Like, I cannot tell you. I can't tell you. Uh, you saw how long it's been since I've, how, since I've done this? Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I think I played it sooner on... Uh... Nope. No, the last time... I, the, when I played it on the Vita was back in like 2015 when Jay was staying here. Because that's when I got my Vita and then I went and bought the, the, uh, the God of War collection for the PS Vita. Yeah. Learning, like figuring out how to do that, I cannot tell you what in my brain clicked and made that go, yeah, this is what you do here. Like, nope. Didn't have a clue. Like, something about it, something about the situation I was in told me they're going to keep respawning. And then I was like, well, why are they going to keep respawning? And that was it. Like, I'm not trying to make myself sound smart. I will never do that. I will never try to make myself sound like I'm just the smartest little boy on, on Little Boy Island. I'm not. But I do question how the fuck did my brain just go, remember this? Because no, I fucking don't. It's like I told you, like I told Fifth, like yesterday, I have no idea what happens in God of War. <laughs> I don't have a clue what happens in this game. Like the only thing I remember is the or like uh, being out in the uh, the desert following the sirens, and I remember uh, being on Kronos' back. That's it. Also, I remember the, uh, the oh my gosh, no, the fucking trials of Hades are the most ass whole bull fucking shit part of the game having to kill the goddamn like uh Cerberus all in like one place like to like fill up a damn thing we'll we'll get there sure we will mm. like I, I feel like I'm making pretty good pretty good time here I mean yeah we're in episode four yeah. and we are no four yeah I think that's four and we're at 18 minutes, so this episode's about to end like soon. Ish. Can you remember what the, the one first more. game you like went out of your way to complete was? Because I'm trying to think, like the first game I actually like went in my brain and said, "I am 100%ing this game right now," as opposed to like I just did everything that the game offered me. Yeah, I do. Okay. No, technically, yeah, I think I do. I think the first game, I, like, oh, hold on, let, 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 let's rephrase that. The first game I 100%ed intentionally was most likely Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Why not three, four? Why not one, two, three, four? Thaw, a uh, thug, one or two. Why not? Here's the, here's the reason. For some reason. And all those other games, the one thing that always made me not do it was the gap checklist. That was it every single time. Like it was it was pre-internet, so that it w that wasn't an option. It was just to look up what to do. But I remember going out of my way because we had just got the internet at home. Dial up, motherfucker. Uh, we had just got the internet at home. I went out of my way to have a to copy and paste the uh, gap checklist. Uh, the gap check was for the game, like on the on the computer, and as I played it, I would like go through and like hit all the gaps. Some of them were a little hard to do. Now, technically speaking, I might have 100% Super Smash Bros. first, 
like on 64, but that again was unintentional. Getting all the stages and you know, getting all the stages and getting all the characters was just a byproduct of playing the game. If you played it long enough, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think the first game I did that for was probably Banjo Kazooie. That game like completely like requested out of you. Though. So like yeah, that's fair. I mean, um, but you don't have to get everything in that game to beat it. Like there are things like you would. Like, as a child, like, you would go, like, oh, well, I don't need that to complete the game. Uh, cause I know for sure. I would say, like, the most, like, I did with, like, uh, Pro Skater, like, 1 through 3 was I would, um, oh, shit. I would, uh, make sure to get all the goals with, I know for sure with Pro Skater 1, like, 1 through 2. I like 100% in everybody's career mode with every, like, well, 100% of the career mode with every character. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. And when I tell you that is a long and arduous task, like, it just is. Like, it gets bore. It doesn't get boring, but it gets extremely tedious after a while. And it's, but you get better at it. I'll say that for sure. You get better. I mean, that goes with anything that you do repetitiously. Like, you get be I got better at it as time went on. Like, I knew where all the cash icons were. I knew where... I just knew where everything was. And so I got better at it. And I, I did enjoy that. But... No. American Wasteland was the first one that I was like, yeah. We're like, I'm, I'm hitting everything. Because there was so many... Uh, there were so many characters in the game to unlock. I I just had to. Like I think a little John, B little John was in that game, and so was Billy Joel from a uh, Green Day. I think there's American Wasteland. That might be pro, pro skater like Underground too. I think I'm thinking Underground too. Doesn't matter. Either way, the episode's over. So guys, until next time, won't you go ahead and hit the like button, comment. What was the first game you 100%ed? Have you ever 100%ed a game? What do you think of? 100 percenting video games in general like do you think it's a waste of time do you find it completely unnecessary like will you only do it if there's in-game rewards just give me your in your take on it in the comment section um subscribe because i put out a lot of content and uh i at the moment i have like almost no subscribers and almost and even less interaction with the channel so if i ever get people who like are real humans because like, I've been getting a lot of spam comments lately. If I ever get any real humans who are like, hey, I like what you do and like I want to hang out, like, you know, chill out in a party chat or whatever, that's going to happen. And I would like to eventually become one of those YouTubers who plays games with his fans, like, you know, to yeah. like let you all in and shit like that. But as of right now, you know, it's just a matter of taking our time and just letting the channel do what it does naturally. And right now, that's stagnate. But until next time, guys, we're out of here. Peace.